The way I got in the firearm industry was uh, my dad opened up two gun shops, then he opened up a gun range. So I've been in the business for about eight years, so I know different types of brands of guns. I'm really well versed in the industry. I got involved in the holster business because I actually bought a holster. It was a $150 holster and it kind of fell apart after two months. I'd be walking up and down the steps and the gun would be actually coming out of the holster. So the retention was just gone after almost two months. With the holsters I make, there's a retention screw so you can tighten and loosen it. So if it gets loose, you can tighten it. If it gets too tight, you can unloosen it. Also, you can cant it multiple ways. So some people like to ride it slant it uh, forward, back, straight, there's multiple ways um, you can cant it too. The common holsters out there are inside the waistband, outside the waistband, um, appendix carry which is inside the waistband but appendix. You really don't see that many shoulder holsters out there anymore. More, more people are trying to keep it on their body to keep it, it makes it a little bit easier to carry and uh, conceal and draw the gun out if ever needed be. Um, me personally being a smaller guy I carry appendix if I carry inside but I carry outside the majority of the time too. Um, some disadvantages of carrying outside is depending if you just have a t-shirt on, it's harder to carry outside. Inside is easier if you have less clothes on. Outside is very easy. I'm in Michigan. It's cold right now, so I have a coat, a hoodie, so it's very easy to carry outside. The three most important things I would consider when buying a holster are adjustability, if you can can it multiple ways because some people don't like it straight up. Second would be the clips. So with mine, I have multiple options. You can get uh, D-rings, you can get the speedy clips, you can get belt loops, you can get almost any clip outside um, because everybody likes something else different. For inside the waistband holster, we also have a clip that sticks under the belt so you can lift that firearm in and out very easy. Different options for materials for holsters are leather versus kydex. That's what I get everywhere I go. Everyone says, what's the difference between leather and kydex? Um, what one's better? It's really just preference. Um, some people really like the kydex, some people really like the leather. One thing I do tell people is with the leather, when you put it inside your pants and you draw the firearm, it's impossible to put that firearm right back in. Um, with Kydex, you can just put it in and out, in and out, it will never lose its shape. Also, even outside the waistband holsters, it's very easy to draw and reholster with Kydex compared to leather, in my opinion. So Freedom Holster is different because all the adjustability we have. We have multiple colors, uh, options, any custom color, any custom image. We can actually print any image on the holster. Any color you can think of, we can put it on there. Ours is lifetime warranty, so if you have a problem like that, we'll fix it, send you a new one, we'll cover it. Um, we stand behind our products, and also the can and the inside of the waistband holsters are adjustable, which no one has something like that yet.